Hi everyone, Liz here. Thank you for stopping by. So I've gone down the Timu rabbit hole again and this is my third order. Um, and yeah, I thought you might like to just have a look and see what I got this time. Oh my goodness, lots and lots of stuff. So bear with me because there is so much in this bag. And as you can see, uh, the first item has decided to escape all on its own. So we'll have a look at this one first. But two items have popped out. We'll have a look at that one in a second. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, this, they sent me a little uh, special offer through. Uh, and this was £1.28. So I thought, well, it'll be rude not to at that price. Um, I do find if you put things in your basket and leave it, uh, that they do start sending you special offers and all sorts of things. So it sometimes, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, sometimes things go up in price but apparently if things go down in price within so many days of you buying it they do refund you that difference as well um, and if you remember I did get an extra little critter in with one of my diamond paintings last time so I had uh, my I had my credit to spend as well so that was another reason uh, sorry another excuse <laughs> I've seen an order in this time so let's have a look at this um, it's a little storage box. I'm not quite sure what I will use this one for. Um, it says great for crafts, scientific scale and spec for using the space better. Oh, okay. Uh, with interval every in every layer allows you to add add on additional articles as needed swap and stack technology so maybe it sort of like stacks up differently okay we've got a dog barking outside now <laughs> oh my goodness me all right so let's just take that piece of card off oops got an extra bit of card there as well and have a look at this so it's one of these stackable ones um okay oh right oh so the middle is actually removed so that's pretty good so if you just wanted it as like um, three rows of just sort of that size box, uh, rather than having the little dividers in, you don't have to have the dividers. And I suppose if you buy more than one, um, you can stack them all together. It is quite a flimsy plastic, to be honest. It's quite a bendy one, which I don't mind in some ways because uh, it, if you drop it, it's not going to crack. Um, it's not real brittle or anything, but uh, yeah, these dividers are quite handy. And I'm wondering if some of these actually might go in some of my uh, diamond paint cases that I've got, you know, with the bottles and things in. Because they're mm, possibly a standard-ish size, but yeah, they just all stack up together. But I just thought for £1.28, uh, yeah, it would have been rude not to. Not quite sure what I will put in here. I suppose actually washi tape would probably fit in here. Um, and wax and bits and pieces like that. So yeah, might do that. Or even um, the different bits and pieces that I've got for using as uh, cover minders and magnets and things. Now there's an idea. And then I can actually see what I've got. So oops, they just click together, sorry. And a nice little carrying handle there. So... Yeah. or even one of the granddaughters might want it for their makeup or their own little bits and pieces but yeah when they send you a special offer when you've got your order going in you think well I might as well have that <laughs> and it's pink so what more can I say um quick measure of the size yeah it's sort of a six inches square which is 15 centimeters yeah, oh, it's five inches, 13 centimetres that way. So, yeah, but you can get more than one. Actually, if I'd known um, that it stacked quite so well, I might have got an extra one. Because it stacks upwards rather than outwards. So a smaller footprint on the bottom. But, yeah, that's uh, quite a handy little case. And I do like my cases. And it's got a carry handle. You could use it as a very retro handbag, couldn't you? <laughs> A bit see-through though everybody would know what you had in your handbag and us girls like to keep things secret in our handbags <laughs> okay so that's item number one i think this was about 30 odd items so it might be quite a long video so you might want to get a cup of coffee um this is just some little dog stickers and i got it purely because 
it had a Scotty dog sticker and you don't see many stickers with Scotty dogs on. Um, yeah, it's got a longer beard than Millie Moo's got at the moment because yeah, it's summer and she tends to get very muddy and digging and stuff. So we keep her beard a little bit shorter. But yeah, that's a Scotty dog and there's lots of others as well. And we've got a little American Cocker Spaniel there as well in black, which we used to have, or I used to have a little American Cocker Spaniel called Sweep because you just look like Sweep off Sooty and Sweep. <laughs> and there's all sorts of dog breeds in there. Yeah, it's a pack of 50, all different ones, and £1.48. So they're pretty good for just extra little bits, just little stickers to add on. And um, we've got some little English Bull Terriers in there as well, which I'll probably be passing on to friends and people. But uh, yeah, and uh, for little mystery packs and things as well. So some little stickers. Yay, we like stickers. Okay, but we had to get it because it was a Scotty dog. <laughs> Right, um, okay, these were uh, 98 pence and I suppose, yeah, for 98 pence, what can you expect? These were, well, I thought they'd be bigger, to be fair, but again, as I say, for 98 pence. Um, but I suppose they are quite pretty. I've got one that's escaped there, look. I don't know where that's come from. I'll just keep that on one side for now, so, but the material. Oh, it looks like, actually... They've got more than one layer on the flower, so they all need fluffing out a little bit. So maybe I'm being a bit unfair. I think they just need fluffing out a bit more, um, curling a bit more, and they will look better. But yeah, I just thought, oh, for 98 pence, again, it was worth just getting them and seeing what they're like. They're not the best quality, but they're certainly not the worst that we've had. And uh, yeah, I think they will be quite pretty. We'll have to put something else with them, obviously. Um, you probably need three, <laughs> maybe four bunches of them. But yeah, they're okay. Just a little bit. I mean, if you're into your crafting, your card making, they're quite a nice little display. Uh, yeah, I can't grow flowers because I'm hopeless at gardening. So that's those. Yeah, I've got some uh, stickers for when I send out uh, my little parcels and my little uh, thank you gifts and uh, giveaways and things. Uh, and it says, warning, opening this package will cause extreme happiness. Um, hopefully, yeah, when I send out my uh, little packages, uh, then uh, it will cause happiness for people. <laughs> and that's a pack of 120 and they were £1.18. So I just thought, yeah, that's good to just uh, add on. So I've got some little thank you bags in the last one and then I spotted these stickers and I just thought oh yeah just makes it a little bit special when you're getting a parcel through the post doesn't it if it's got a little sticker on okay let's see what we've got next all right this was a pack of four hair scrunchies for one pound and eight pence okay so um Timo keeps sending me things to become an affiliate and to refer people and everything. To be honest, I don't want to do that. I'd sooner just get the stuff uh, when I want it. I don't want them sending me random stuff because I'm trying to clear the house out. <laughs> Clutter it up, albeit when you see the amount of stuff that I keep getting from them. Uh, yeah, maybe not. But yeah, I just thought these are quite pretty. Just a bit of elastic inside, a bit of material. Um, I do use them quite a bit. Uh, particularly in the summer I've got a little bit longer hair so I don't like to just tie it up a little bit and these I thought I could probably put a couple together you know they're quite uh, nice shades together just to twist together and just having your hair so yeah just a little bit extra there I'm going to have an awful lot of rubbish here aren't I <laughs> okay so the next item is uh, a protective cloth for ironing and I thought this might be quite good for my diamond painting. And this one was 88 pence. So I thought it was worth it just so I've ordered a lot of things that are around about the pound mark. Uh, yeah, it's like going around one of those pound stores, isn't it? Where you just think, oh, well, I'll just have one of those and I'll just have one of those. And uh, when you get to the till, you think, oh, how much did I spend? But no, um, I did get some vouchers off as well. Uh, let me just uh, have a look. So, yeah, as I say, I'm not a Timu affiliate. I decided I didn't want to uh, go down that route. And let me just have a look at this. So, okay, so you just literally put this set over, well, as I'm going to use it for diamond paintings if they need iron it. So I'll just put this over the diamond painting and it just keeps a little bit of like a, a mesh. Yeah, you can see that. 
um, over the cloth, oh, well, over the diamond painting, so it stops the direct heat quite so much um, if your iron's a little bit too hot, but I think that's probably going to be okay, actually. Saves using all my tea towels and things. I can just keep this specifically for diamond paintings. Hmm. And it doesn't take up much room because it's only very small, so that's good. Okay, running out of space here. Right, now, you know I like my quirky and my fun. And uh, yeah, this just looked like a whole lot of fun. This one was £3.48. And um, it was on a special offer when I put them in my bag. And then it actually gone up in price when I came to check out. But I still wanted to get it because I just thought it was so fun. And it's a little drying cloth. <laughs> so you just hang it up say in your kitchen or whatever you know when you i don't know picked up a piece of fish or something and just the end of your fingers have got wet so rather than washing your whole hands maybe it's just me that does this um you just sort of like wipe your fingers and then you can just dry your hands on this so it is fully washable oh that's odd oh he's got two faces so i was thinking it'd be more of a, a fluffy sort of round sheep size but actually uh, yeah, we've got a sheep face, uh, two eyes and a mouth on this side and a sheep face on this side as well. But I just thought, oh, I'm going to have to have that. I think that's uh, just to hang near the sink, just uh, to just dry your fingers or your hands on or whatever. You know, or if you've taken something out of the freezer and your hands are a little bit damp, you can just wipe them on him. Oh, I could use him for a cleaning cloth in the car. <gasps> Poor sheep. Close your ears. <laughs> But yeah, I just had to have him. I know I'm trying to clear out and here's me buying daft things. But yeah, you've got to have a bit of daft sometimes in your life, haven't you? Well, I have anyway. <laughs> and that does include hubby as well. <laughs> okay, and then I've got this. And this is a back scratcher. <laughs> and it's telescopic and it was £1.98. Oh my goodness me. I do get some daft things. But as opposed to the ones that we've already got, they're metal. And this one is actually um, like a rubberized material. So it's got like a smaller spike on that side. I think can just, and then it's got the larger spikes on that side. And it's telescopic. Uh, quite, quite good for uh, giving Millie a scratch, actually. But no, um, Hubby, um, with his sort of dexterity problems that he's got on everything, um, does find sometimes that he's, he gets a little bit itchy. Um, say on his feet and he can't bend down to get well his foot uh, and he can't get down to get his foot or you know on his back or whatever and if you can use one of these that's all well and good and I think with it being like this rubberized material it'll be easier to just uh, give it a quick rinse or uh, just put it in some hot soapy water or something just to clean it and it's quite nice and long as well so he'll be able to reach his foot with that one so yeah £1.98 and yeah, I think that's, and it's quite discreet as well, isn't it? It's not something that you, you can jump out and everybody can say, oh, what's that? What have you got? So, yes, that's uh, quite a handy, dinky little doodle. And then I liked my little knife that I got last time so much. I got another one. So, and this one was only 38 pence. <laughs> Crazy price. So, yeah, just a little, it's a package opening knife, really. That's what I'll mainly use it for. Uh, it doesn't look the best blade in the world. I'm not going to put my fingers near it. Looks like we've got a bit of a chip out the top here. And I suppose once it's gone blunt, then you've just got to throw it away. I don't think it's got any... No, it hasn't got anything on the back. You know, sometimes you get those craft knives and you can snap the blade off and use the next part. Um, but it's a little pink dog bone. And it's got a little uh, hole there, so you can put it onto a keychain if you like. But I wouldn't advocate walking around with knives these days. Uh, it's not a good idea. But, yeah, certainly to just put somewhere handy. Um, and for opening parcels and boxes and things, that's great. So that will go downstairs in my little drawer, um, ready for opening things. The last one that I got last time was the little flower. And uh, this time I just got the little bone instead. Okay, 38 pence. Wow. <laughs> now then, I've got these. I'm not quite sure how useful they will be. They're like pen grips. And it's a set of five. These were 78 pence. So, yeah, pennies again each. And they're basically um, for holding your pen. And hold it like that. So it just 
just gives you uh, a little bit a bit more of a comfort grip i suppose um i don't know if they'd be any good for diamond painting or not i'm just thinking i think these pens will fit in this is a diamond painting pen yeah so it's like an extra large sort of pen grip squishy really uh, and it's designed as i say you put your fingers in there so your either side or you could even use those two fingers if you've got problems uh, did you put your thumb through there or not i can't remember I think that's maybe just to hold on to and then you can pick up diamonds and put them down so yeah just it says for students i mean obviously if you're doing a lot of writing i tend to i don't know how you hold your pen but i was always taught to hold it sort of like that and i have actually got a bump on this finger now from doing lots of writing so hmm possibly it's i suppose it's like anything else you've got to get used to it so you've got your little grip to hold and uh, but I just thought it might just take away a bit of pressure off your hands while you're diamond painting. Just something to try. And as I say, for the price, I've got five. So I'll maybe give the granddaughters one and see what they think to them. But yeah, just something extra. Okay. And then I've just got a little paw print sticker to go on the back of my car with a heart and a paw print. Yeah, because I'm like that. And oh, it's got a little uh, squidgy there as well. These are quite handy actually for flattening your diamond paintings. If you keep them, you know, if you're just flattening uh, the top down on. <laughs> That one was a 58 pence, so I say that will be going on the back of my car. I've got my lovely Scotty dog on the back of my car uh, that Jeanette got me. Uh, the lovely Jeanette from Norway sent me it in some happy mail. So I've got that at one side and I thought I'll have the paw print with the heart at the other. I'll take a photograph once I've got it on. I have got the Scotty on at the moment, but I need to put my paw print on. Well, I did get some like Capri pants um, and a top as well. I may or may not show you those, but actually I was quite impressed with the quality of them. I wasn't quite sure with the clothes. Uh, but yeah, they were quite good. So I may do a separate video on the clothes because Hubby got a cardigan as well in the last one and that, that was quite good so i've got these as well i think that one's yeah that's for making your tiles a little bit whiter not quite sure what that is is that just ooh. so if you've been if your tiles uh, in your kitchen or your bathroom or wherever uh, the grouting in between is going a little bit discolored then i wonder what that is Oh, that's the end for it. Oh, right, that's the nib. Just a uh, good job I didn't throw that away then. Right, oh, it's a spare nib. So you've got uh, one nib already in the pen and a spare nib. It's a ceramic tile maker. It's one of those where you'll have to push it down quite a few times. I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to use it now um, to sort of like load the tip to get the paint or whatever onto the tip. And then you'll just colour in down the sides of your tiles. So actually that's quite good. I didn't realise it came with an extra tip. Nice solid lid as well. I'm going to have it drying out quite so fast. That one was a pound and eight pence so it's worth having a try what i'll probably do is try it um in a real discreet place where you can't really see it you know maybe at the back of the bath or something um and see how well it works and if it works really well then i can do the other towels but uh, yeah at the moment um i say the jury's out i've got to try it first so we'll see how it goes okay and then these are actually white marker pens permanent markers were £1.19 each and I've got a 1mm and a 0.7mm so I don't know if you remember um, a while ago when I was doing some diamond paintings and I was talking about doing eyes on uh, some of the animals you know where you've just got sort of uh, a black solid black eye sometimes it's nice just to put a highlight on the eye and i just thought if i get one of these pens then this will make it easier rather than trying to use acrylic paint and getting a really really tiny dot of it um, i did just have something similar a long time ago uh, but they've long gone now long gone and dried up so oh look so that's your two different nibs so that one is the if i can see it 
like permanent marker. I think that'll be the one millimeter and that'll be the 0 0.7. They did do them in several different sizes. They say one pound 18 each. So I wonder if you need to charge those up as well or if they're already white. Have I got a piece of paper? I've only got white paper here, so I can't really show you. I've got uh, some diamond painting products as well that I'll show you at the end. So let's just... Oh yeah, look, you can see you're just getting that little tiny dot of white. So that's possibly the one millimeter. And that's, yeah, the 0.7. So if you just wanting to put that little highlight on a gem, then these are excellent for doing that, which is why I got them. Okay, oops, try putting the right lid on. The, now I'm trying to put the lid on the lid. Ugh. So that's that one. I'm just gonna try this. Uh, this is the gorgeous Scotty Dog uh, that uh, the lovely Sharon Pencil Surprises made for me. And I'm just gonna try this on one of these eyes and see how it uh, looks. Obviously try and just put them oops in the same place um because you don't want it to be cross-eyed but just work out where your light source is coming from and yeah look just see just got that little white highlight in the eye just shows the eyes up that little bit more and yeah well that's really good oh, i'm really pleased with these right okay so something else to add to my collection <laughs> I do like my gadgets and things okay look at the diamond painting bits in a sec now then this is a craft mat uh, it's called a large silicon mat so if this is large I'd hate to see the small one and this was £2.24 uh, so um, I've had the uh, better, I think, from Amazon, if I'm fair. Let's see how thick it is. I did think, you know, for when I'm doing uh, ceiling paintings and ceiling projects and things. Oh, gosh, it's uh, sticking to itself. Oh, my goodness me. So, okay. Oh, it's not too bad a size. Probably about an A3 size, 30 by 30, uh, 35 by 25 centimetres, probably. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought it's just like a protector, protecting mat. But trouble is with these things, everything does stick to them. So if you've got any fluff or dust or hair or anything like that, it does stick. I'm just wondering if it's heat resistant as well, but that's something I'll have to try out. But it's just something that, you know, when you're... Uh, when you're using, say, paints or glue or uh, when you're, uh, say, sealing your diamond paintings, just to have something to cover your worktop with. So, yeah, OK, that's not bad. A little bit thinner than I was expecting, but as long as it does the job, then that's all we need. And then, yeah, I decided I'd get a few tweezers just to complete my collection because I've got a few uh, missing from my colours and I do like to have collections of them. Um, these were all 44 pence each and if uh, you've seen my previous videos I have got this gorgeous pen stand that has got all the different colours in it and I've got all my different coloured tweezers in here as well. Oh I've already got that one. I didn't know I had that one so that one will go into a giveaway and oops I've already got that one as well so that will go in a giveaway but I haven't got yellow so I do need to put the yellow ones in uh, and at 44 pence I think they're a really good buy Let's see what quality they are uh, ooh a little bit flimsy they're not as good quality as these that I've got not bad quality not bad not bad so let me just move these up slightly they just fit in these little slots look really nicely and I don't like to just put them into colours <laughs> Still got my uh, gorgeous hot pink glittery tweezers sent to me by the lovely Chris. They take pride of place. Okay, so let's just pop those in there as well. So yeah, getting a nice little collection now of the different colours. 
it. I don't like that side with the pens. I think that's, uh, yeah, with the hot pink at the end. <laughs> okay, so this, they'll go into my spares for giveaways and things. And then if you remember, I get some of the UV resin in the last one as well because I just fancied having a go um, and just having a play really with some of my spare drills that I've got left over uh, and see if I can do any um, resin so yeah I don't want to have to have the two lots of resin that that you have to mix and get heavily into resin making but I just fancied having a go and say using up some of my spare drills so that's what I got in the last parcel and then these are just some very thin bits and pieces that I got because uh, UV resin dries quite quickly um, and again Sharon from Pencil Surprises is great with resin and she was telling me that sometimes they don't dry very well in the middle if you use the UV resin so I did just get uh, thinner things to have a play with uh, these are the moulds that I've got now this is supposed to be a bookmark <laughs> a very thin bookmark uh, mind you it was only 44 pence it's got the little hole in it there so I suppose really I mean I could even put say a name of somebody or put little paw prints down it or something and use it as a large keychain but I just thought with the UV resin um, then that's going to dry quite quickly because it's very very shallow uh, and if once I've had a play I will probably just pass these all on to Sharon anyway so she can add them to her collection so that was that one at 44 pence uh, this is a set of to make pens with um, and this was one pound and eight pence uh, and again so it's not something that I want to wholly get into particularly because I do tend to if I, I start doing something then uh, yeah I do tend to go wholesale on it and I really haven't got the room so I've got three different sizes of pen shapes there and I say one pound eight pence for the three. They might be a little bit thick for UV resin, but I thought maybe I could have a go at uh, making a, a diamond painting pen with one or something like that. Just put a hole in the end of it. I suppose you would put maybe a cocktail stick or something in the end so that it keeps the hole. Um, or I suppose you could even put your diamond painting uh, tip in there. I don't know, I'd have to see. But they were just uh, a set. I only really wanted one, but it was actually cheaper to buy the set of three than it was to buy one. So I thought, oh, well, I'll give it a go, see what it looks like. So, yes, yeah, so that's those. And then the other set that I got, uh, this is a 16-piece set for £1.79. So, and these look quite good, actually. These are like key ring shapes or jewellery shapes, whatever you want to do. And I didn't realise you get the little... Uh, silver and gold ball and chain uh, linking key rings there as well so let's see how many we got probably what have we got one two three four five six shapes so there's probably six little key rings which to be fair for the price is brilliant and for somebody like me that's just wanting to try it out uh, i can never get into packets what is it with me and packets quite long as well okay oh they're very thin and tinny they're not tight, your usual chunky keychains that you got so we've got one two oh there's more three oh the different colored golds as well we've got like a, a yellowy gold and then a more golden gold four five okay so we've got five there and then we've got one two one of them's broken look three unless that's an extra oh, that's an extra four five oh that's a really small one so we've got ten of your little uh, ball and uh, locking mechanism ball and clasp keychains mm. okay i mean <laughs> for the price you can't uh, really complain whether i'll actually use those or not i'm not sure i've got an extra little uh, ball and uh, an extra little clasp there let me just grab this little grip, grip seal bag that the other bits came in I'll just put those in there for now just to keep them together because that's a very small bag i'll never get them back in there uh so we've got like a 
sort of a shield shape. They've all got the little um, the little stems in there for where the hole will be. Similar to a heart shape, but it's more of a shield. We've got a round, okay, we've got a rectangle, which isn't that different to the rectangle bookmark that we got. <laughs> now that is like a shield shape, isn't it? That's a, a different one. We've got a square and we've got a little oval. Okay, so I think for the money they're pretty good. So that's going to be my foray into possible uh, resin. Uh, as I say, when that'll actually happen, I don't know, but we'll give it a go because I have got a UV light as well. So they will dry really, really quickly. But I want to just have a go at putting some gems in, uh, maybe putting initials, using up some of my gems, see whether it works or not. I think with the crystals or the larger crystals, it may work because they're that little bit heavier. Um, and obviously you've got to do it back to front as well. So they need to be placed in. But possibly the actual resin, the actual acrylic and resin gems might not. So we'll see how it goes. I hope they don't melt. <laughs> so that's those. It's a good job it's dustbin day tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of rubbish to put in the bin. And then what is left is my diamond painting thing. So the first one is this. Uh, oh, installation instructions. And it's a little hairbrush with a little owl in it. Um, I've had these before. Um, I've got one that's like a rectangle shape with a unicorn on. And actually, Hubby says it's a really good hairbrush and he uses it quite a bit. But uh, this one is an oval shape. And it's a diamond painting. So that, oh my goodness, is that the smallest piece of wax you've ever seen? But anyway, it's got a pen, a boat and a wax. And then this is the brush. Let's have a look. Oh, that's the little owl look. Oh, that's really cute. Sat on a branch with a little moon in the background. It's quite heavy, this as well, actually. Let me, uh... Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow, this is going to take some doing. The uh, little brush bit doesn't have any of the bristles in. The last one I got actually already had the bristles in it. This one doesn't. They've sent me them all to put in. <laughs> so the price of this one is a £4.98. So £5 for a hairbrush that you have to make yourself. Uh, now then I want to get into this. How do I get into it? Is that a little tool to get you into it? Let me have a look. So it's showing me all the pieces here. Uh, let me see what this is. <coughs> oh my goodness, I love getting things that you just don't know what they are and what's happening. Oh no, that's to go into the brush look. That's like a mirror bat to go into the end of the brush. Okay, so that's not a tool to help us get in. Um, yeah, that, that has got to be the smallest piece of wax I've ever got with anything. <laughs> but then there is only, oh, oh, we've got an AB. Oh my goodness, okay. So we've got like um, an orangey color there and a very pale lemony color, a brown. And then that is uh, a yellow AB coated gem. So it's got an Aurora Borealis coating, which is like your Northern Lights effect. So that's pretty good actually, putting an AB in. I presume that will be for the moon. Um, and they are all numbered as well. So now I need to try and figure out how to get into this without breaking it. Um, oh, it just pushes, look. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just, that's it, just clips apart. Okay. Oops take that apart right so does that come off as well yes it must do because that's it that comes off as well so this looks like it's got has it got uh, a coating on it is this plastic just have a look yes it does this has got um just a plastic cover on it to keep it dust free and scratch free so then that is going to go inside there oh so that's quite good 
Okay, so then that, I guess, is going to then go on top. Oops, I think it goes the other way up. Yes, oh, which actually then is quite good because it's got a little mirror. You've got uh, a little mirror on your brush as well. And then I guess that will go on there and you will put all your little bristles. Oh no, it's got to go the other way, hasn't it? It's got to go the other way. So that is going to have to go that way. Oh, this is fun to do. Sorry, just talk amongst yourselves while I just... Uh, yeah, oh, that fits in there better like that. So then that goes... Does that... Ah, right. So then that's going to go in there once you've diamond painted it all. Then that will go on top there, which keeps then your diamond painted part. And you can eat... Well, I suppose you could have your mirror going either way, to be fair. Then you're going to put all your little bristles... Oh, my goodness me... <laughs> <laughs> put that onto there and then that will clip over the top somehow to keep uh, all that in place and keep your brush in place so it's up to you which oh no it won't go that way it will go the other way around it will go the other way around the mirror because there is actually gems look on there Oh, okay, so it's going to take a bit of figuring out this. I don't want to try and get too many fingerprints on this, to be fair. Unless that goes like that, then the mirror goes there. No, because it needs to be fastened in. So, yeah, it's going to take a, a little bit of figuring out this one. Uh, it does have instructions, picture instructions. So we will see how it goes, but I don't think that's quite nice. And it has got gems going all the way down the stem of the brush as well. So, yeah, that's going to have to be... Yeah, it won't be that way around, will it? That's going to have to be the um, actual bristles of the brush. Otherwise, you won't be able to see your hair. Will you? <laughs> yeah, that's going to fit into there with all your bristles on. So then that's going to have to go that way like that fits into there and then that's gonna have to fit into there it has got little slots look just to fit it on and then that will go over the top there possibly to fasten all that in and then that will go over there so yeah it's gonna be like that yeah, so you'll have all your owl there with all your gems down the stem. You'll have all your bristles there with your mirror. I don't quite like the idea of having a mirror, to be fair, um, which I didn't realise. So £5, £4.98 for a little DIY project. And uh, yeah, it will probably take me a lot longer to do that than it will to put the gems on the picture. <laughs> but it is uh, nice that it's got the AB for the moon. Yay! Okay, so I'll pop that away for now. Pop all those bits back in there. With the smallest piece of uh, wax we've ever seen. And let's have a look at the other diamond painting things. So I saw these and I just thought, yeah, I need them. Uh, like, I, uh, well, I don't need anything really. This is five key rings, key chains, for five pounds and 48 pence. But when you see them, they're very, very cute. Okay, so we have the pen boat and wax. Let's see what these uh, lobster claw clasps and chains are like. Should have five of these. Let's have a look. Oops, you don't want to come out. Yeah, they're, oh no, they're not. Um, they're not as good quality as the ones that I've had from Amazon, I have to say. Um, the little ball and chain fastening and the clasps. Yeah, the clasps are okay, but these just feel a little bit tinny, a little bit thin. 
not quite as good quality uh, but i am a firm believer in and a lot of times you pay for what you get so we've got five little keychains there okay we've got an extra one of those as well in this packet strange okay so i'll pop those into there for now but look at these i couldn't resist i can always use some of my spares that i've got to, for my keychains they're a little bees oh and they are double-sided as well so that's really good so we've got our little fun bee there which looks like uh, he's about to sting somebody he's got his little stinger out ready beep <laughs> okay we've got our little bee bookworm there with his glasses and his books and his pencil we've got uh, oh that one looks like a huggy bee that looks like it's running at you to give you a great big hug with lovely eyelashes there and so they are double-sided and then uh, i don't know what that one's doing that one's just going for a walk i think or he's maybe pointing the direction come on this way yeah and then this one oh looks like he's getting into an awful lot of trouble um yeah it looks like he's holding some little gems there in his little hands do bees have hands possibly and uh, yeah he's uh, a little bit sort of oh dear what have i done what have i done and yeah it looks like he might get into trouble he might just have done something he shouldn't so that's our five little a bee keychains so it's, so it's working out at just over a pound each which is good for uh, double-sided ones as well so what have we got uh, in the colors here looks like we've got some nice gems so we've got a, a sort of a pale bronze and a nice honey gold and then we have a lemony gold and your standard black and ooh, only a little bit of your plain crystal and a little bit of blue oh that'll be for the wings and a very deep bronzy color and a little bit of red and a glassy green and a lovely like ice blue and then some large rounds there with facets on uh, now are they for the eyes they might be um, and if they are, as I say, I've got my little pen now that I can just put a little highlight in the eyes. Some uh, pale gold marquees there, small ones. Some little teardrops in uh, gold. Some little teardrops in lilac -y colour. And then like the fire red rounds there. Ooh, they're nice with the iridescent coating on. So lots of gems. I'm just working out where these set black ones go so it's x x marks the spot i think they must be for the eyes i can only think they're for eyes because where else would they go but there's no shout if you can see any x's on these <laughs> i mean there's oh well they're x's but i mean they're not going to go there are they because they're oh no they're not x's are they oh they're o's they're o's so where is there an O? O, 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 O. I really don't know where the O's go. <laughs> okay, so that'll be fun to do. I'll have to work that out when I actually I get around to doing them. So that's my little bees. Oops. Okay. That's diamond painting number two. And then we've had a sneaky peek of this one already. Uh, well, the box anyway. And this one is, oh yes, this is a mirror. So I've had one of these before and I do like the mirrors. And um, I think this is the third one now. So possibly this one may be a present for somebody. Uh, £7.98, which I think is probably a fairly standard price from wherever you get them from. Um, so it's like your mandala design. I just liked the blue on this one. Uh, to go around the edge there we've got your two little hanging parts there uh, it's got a cover top um, and bottom so your cover on the top is to keep you sticky and then it's got another cover on the back so uh, it's keeping it clean and scratch free which is always good but it's one on a stand as well so I wonder if the first one I got should have had a stand with it as well because it, it didn't have the stand Okay, so you will have seen these before. I have unboxed them before, but we'll just have a quick look at this. 
And again, a pen butt and wax, a bit bigger wax, piece of wax this time. Can't get over the size of that piece of wax. <laughs> okay, so this one has a chain. So if you're wanting to hang it up, you can do. I actually have one of these hung up in uh, my craft room at the moment. Uh, yeah, it's a good job you uh, don't see me very often. <laughs> Because <laughs> every now and again, I catch a glance of myself in the mirror. And I think, mm. Anyway, so yeah, it will just clip onto there once it's done. Okay, quite a nice long chain, but you can always alter it or tie a knot into it or something. Feels a little bit um, dusty. This feels a little bit dusty anyway. And then we've got some uh, ooh, little pads there. So if you are just wanting to hang it up... Um, are these double-sided? Yeah, you've got some little sticky pads there if you're wanting to just hang it up using sticky pads. That's your mirror, which actually, um, again, has got a coating over the top, a little film over the top. What I suggest you do is actually diamond paint it, and I would always seal a mirror um, and then put the mirror part on top once it is all sealed. And then that's the little stand. Oh no, the little pads will be to stick the stand on the back, won't they? They're not to stick. Uh, yes, uh, they're not. They're not to stick. Stick it to the wall. They're to stick the little stand onto it. So you would just stick your stand. So you can have it as a little freestanding mirror there, uh, or you can have it uh, hanging on the wall. You've got your choice. Hmm. Okay. Quick look at these gems. Uh, oh, we've got an A, B in this one as well. Okay, so we've got this lovely silver, nice and clear these. And then we've got, oh, that lovely jade green colour, deep green, love that. We've got a blue uh, Aurora Borealis coated, a very pale blue crystal, a pale green crystal, a little white uh, pearl there. And then some blue teardrops with an iridescent coating. Some silver marquees with an iridescent coating. Oh, some owl claws, some orange uh, teardrops with an iridescent coating. And then some large uh, faceted blue uh, blue teardrops there. Blue rounds, I'm going by me. Right. So that's a nice kit there, like this one. I'll put back into its box until it is ready to do. Okay. Oops, I'll put the bits back into the bag actually. And then we've got them in there. Keep the toolkits out because they go into our spares. And Then the next one is another little kit to do. Oh, I've got all the keychains there. Where did I put the bees? Over there. Okay, so this is the next project and this one was £6.59. Uh, again, this is one that I've been wanting for a while, but I do think that this could possibly be a little bit smaller than uh, the one I was thinking of, but never mind, that's okay. Again, you tend to pay for what you get. Oh, right, but this is a wooden one, so it is slightly upgraded. So we have a pen boat wax, and that's the chain there. Looks like we've got little jump rings to attach it as well. It's just like a standard curb chain, nothing special in there. And ooh, hot pink jumps out at me straight away, look. One, two, three colours of hot pink. <gasps> Yay! Must have known, must have known. But yeah, it's one of my favourites, a little wreath. Ooh, this is thin. So this is like one of the uh, ply body type uh, items. And it looks like it's just one layer. It's been laser cut out. So we've got the dark edges, so that's not so bad. But I just thought the little happy hedgehog there and all these beautiful flowers going around in pinks and just the little blue highlight and green there. So, yeah, I've wanted this one for a while. I did think it was going to be a 12 by 12, but actually it looks like it's the smaller one, which is about 10 centimetres, uh, 10 centimetres, 10 inches. 
I've lost my tape measure. I've buried it somewhere, so you'll just have to take my word for it. <laughs> but I think you can see it's not the 12 by 12. Uh, we'll just have a quick look at the colours of the gems. And I think there is a special as well, which is the little A, which is uh, a slightly larger one. Oh, yes. So, so we have uh, the three colours there of the hot pink in three different shades. A nice grassy green, a very pale blue and a little bit deeper blue, all in nice clear crystals and that gorgeous royal purple a very pale champagne gold and then the middle of the flowers is this nice like uh, golden yellow with the facets and then quite a full bag there of some yellowy gold uh, crystals there are they the same size they look no they just looks a little bit smaller maybe it's because it, the next to the large one okay So that is our lovely hedgy hog. And then finally, you may be pleased to know, we have two diamond paintings. And the price of hedgehog was £6.59. Sorry, I'm not sure if I said that or not. So the diamond paintings, this one, I just thought I wanted to see what it was like because uh, it's a 20 by 20 and it's £1.35 and I just thought, flipping heck, £1.35 for a diamond painting we'll have to see what that one looks like so, 20 centimetres by 20 oh, it's quite good actually uh, yeah, I mean, if you've got somebody whose birthday is on, say, Halloween um, or around Halloween, you could always send them this uh, on a birthday card because it's... A nice little square size. Ten different uh, gems and colours. Looks like actually it is all uh, your resin, uh, all your acrylic drills. Uh, very, very nice. <laughs> Look at those. Brilliant. So yeah, we've got the three pumpkins. We've got the round shape with like the black trees and all the bats in the background and the crescent moon. So, oh yeah, these are all like little um, pumpkin faces in the background. Look, some crosses there as well. So, yeah, okay. It says 20 by 20. I would think that that is a six inch square. So, yeah, I wonder, yeah that's going to be about a six inch square, which is about 15 centimetres-ish, I think. Uh, but I think for uh, the size of it and for the price of it, that's uh, going to come out pretty good. I think the uh, different bits in the background will all show up uh, pen butt and wax as normal and yeah i won't show you the drills i think you can see those we've got orange brown yellow creamy color for the background uh, we've got a black there deep purple and that lovely orangey color there so we've got the two oranges for the sky and for the pumpkins so very very good there okay i think that's pretty good quite like that quite nice to just go in a small corner as well and again you could always use some glow in the dark drills on it i've got some black color in the dark actually so i might give those a go on that and see if they work okay and then finally i've got this one which was a three pound 49 it's a 30 by 40 where's the end In this house, we, all oh, right, um, love family, dream big, like scary movies, play games, and I'm not sure what that one says. I'll have to find out what that one says. But yeah, so you've got all your scaries there. It's a little bit small, but I just thought for Halloween, it's not going to be up overly long uh pen button wax again and i just thought yeah i'm gonna give this one a go it may actually go uh, to my daughter because they always dress the house up for halloween as well and they're like scary movies <laughs> runs in the family okay just give it a quick a flatten as you can see my desk's getting smaller and smaller 
the more I'm actually getting on it. It's quite a softish canvas, actually not bad at all. Uh, I would think it's probably a 25 by 35 with it being the 30 by 40. It may even, actually, it's quite a wide border, so it may even be 24 by 34. But 22 different colours. We've got a little bat down here and here as well. But I think, I mean, it's not overly scary. That's what uh, I like about it, because I know some people don't like scary stuff. Um, but, you know, this is it's scary without being graphically scary, as it were. Not too scary. <laughs> and then, okay, a nice packs of gems there. I think you can see all the colours. So I don't want this video to go on too long. Uh, you'll all be dropping asleep. So, yep, yeah, just your muted colour palette. A little bit brightish for the uh, pumpkins there. Dark amber and the light. And, oh, it sounds like Hubby's got the hoover out. Goodness me. And... Uh, then some darker colours. So it be interesting to see how it comes out. It does look pretty good uh, as it stands there. Well, that's the only thing when you get a Timo haul. Uh, there's a lot of tidying up to do afterwards. <laughs> but uh, I do like my diamond painting things that I've got. Other than the fact that I've got to put the hairbrush together, uh, I do like the hairbrush and my mirror and uh, all my other bits and pieces as well. And I did think that you'd quite like to see all the other bits that I got too. Okay, well, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you don't want to come back and see what I get up to next and see me get some of these done, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! <laughs> okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.